Hi guys, it's Mark from Silenced Tech. Today we're taking a glimpse into the future with a new lineup from Logitech G called Power Play. People that own gaming setups generally love their space to be clean and there's nothing worse than unsightly cables all over the desk from a mouse and keyboard. People even go as far, including myself, as drilling holes in the desk to hide them. While that works perfectly for a keyboard, it's hardly ideal for a mouse cable as it can restrict movements or even worse, damage the cable over time. When you're using a wired mouse you can suffer from cable drag. For a number of obvious reasons this can upset the balance and feel of your favourite mouse. A lot of people have switched and gone wireless because of these issues, especially in the last 12 months since the release of the Logitech G900 and G403, since their input latency is on par with wired mice. Unfortunately, there's still one problem faced by all the people that have switched to a wireless mouse. The fact that it still needs to be charged every couple of days, possibly running out of juice when you're knee deep in the game. At the worst possible time, it's a major inconvenience. You might as well have stayed with a wired mouse in the first place. Logitech's Power Play aims to tackle all those issues in one go by charging your wireless mouse while you play. Pricing at 100 US dollars and 109.99 UK pounds, it will certainly leave a dent in anyone's wallet, especially when the only two compatible mice are around the same price as well. Personally, I believe the price is worth it, just for the convenience of not having to charge your wireless mouse. Whether you like the two mice available from Logitech, however, is up to you. Hopefully, there will be more options available in the future. Power Play isn't just a mouse pad, it refers to the whole lineup. I'm hoping Logitech may add a headset into the mix real soon. But of course, at the heart of it all is the wireless charging system that comes attached to the mouse pad. The system not only charges your mouse, but acts as a wireless receiver as well, previously dealt with by a separate dongle that came with a particular wireless Logitech mouse you bought. If you're wanting to buy this setup, the performance of the mouse pad is going to be extremely important. And let's face it, what's the point of all these features if the mouse pad is bad? The mouse pad comes with two completely different surfaces surfaces, one hard plastic and one soft fabric. The hard surface, as you'd expect, has little to no friction, so the mouse tracks extremely well. Hard surface lovers won't be disappointed. The cloth surface, on the other hand, while I certainly wouldn't call it a control pad, is aimed more towards fast movements. It still performs excellent even in the most tensest of moments. That said, if you prefer a mouse pad that gives you control rather than speed, both of these surfaces available might not be ideal for your playstyle, although you still could potentially use the base that charges the mouse under any mouse pad you like. I'm also hoping Logitech find a way to sell an extended version of this mouse pad in the future. That might not be possible though, since you can't actually bend the mouse pad's base, and shipping an extended version would prove difficult. During my testing I noticed that the mouse pad has an extremely slow charging rate. In fact the mouse appeared to be slightly losing power while the RGB lighting was on and I was gaming. Once I left the mouse out of action the charging percentage in the Logitech gaming software increased dramatically so that might be the software only updating its reading of the mouse every so often. And you'll also know when the mouse is charging as there's a very conveniently placed white LED on the hub that lets you know if the mouse is being charged. Overall I must say the system works flawlessly. The size of the pad is fairly small, at 321mm in length and 344mm wide, so there's not a lot of room to work with. I don't know about the DPI, but if you're a seriously low DPI player, this mouse pad may cause an issue. The charging base is also 2mm thick, and adding to that is either the cloth surface, which is 2mm thick as well, or the hard surface, which comes in at a whopping 3mm of thickness. My wrist certainly notices it and also I found the edges on the hard surface pretty sharp and it didn't feel comfortable over a long period of use. 
Rounding off the review, overall I'm extremely impressed with the innovation Logitech try to deliver with every new product they release. They really try to push the boundaries of what's possible, making things better for every PC gamer out there. Now I guess all Logitech need to work on is getting the weight and size of wireless mice in general down, then there really wouldn't be any reason to ever use a wired mouse again. The PowerPlay system is one step closer to that possibility. And for that reason alone, I'm going to give the Logitech PowerPlay system a platinum award. It should be gold because of the heavy pricing, but as a whole, the lineup is so innovative, it deserves my highest award, which is platinum. Pulling back from my overall excitement, I still believe the PowerPlay system is more of a stepping stone to something greater, the death of the wired mouse. Are Logitech there yet? No, not quite, but they're pretty damn close. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed the review. My name's Mark from Silence Tech. Goodbye.